China is challenging Elon Musk, the Chinese Android 4 runner will pose serious competition to Elon Musk's Optimus. By 2027, the robot will be able to literally learn and think. Additionally, Chinese scientists are closely following Elon Musk by introducing their own working analog of Neuralink. Chinese technological giant and telecommunication monster China Mobile has made a huge leap into the future of communication by successfully launching a satellite for testing 6G technology into orbit. And a Chinese startup founded in 2020 is literally breathing down the neck of the American company SpaceX. These and other high-tech news in one video. Chinese humanoid robots by 2027 will be able to think and learn. China has announced plans to lead the market for realistic humanoid robots, aiming to create the first prototypes by 2025. According to the roadmap presented by the Ministry of Industry and Information Technology, the country intends to stimulate the growth of young companies in this industry, establish industry standards, develop talent, and deepen international cooperation. Shares of Chinese robotics companies surged sharply after the publication of this policy guidance, adding a new dimension to the technological race between the world's two largest economies, the US and China. So far, the technology advantage has remained with American companies such as Tesla and Boston Dynamics. As the world's leading electronics manufacturer, China aims to achieve breakthroughs in environmental perception, motion control, and human-machine interaction capabilities within the next two years. The government supports the use of artificial intelligence in robotics and calls for further research in the development of dexterous robotic hands, arms, and legs. The political document does not disclose details, but clarifies that by 2027, China plans to create humanoid robots capable of thinking, learning, and evolving, as well as establishing a reliable industrial supply chain system to support robot production. Humanoid robots are increasingly expected to be used for tasks traditionally performed by humans, from picking products in stores to working in hazardous conditions. Continuing the topic of Chinese humanoids, let's briefly discuss one of the latest developments that has the potential to compete with Western robots. For example, the Chinese Android 4Runner will pose competition to Elon Musk's Optimus. We have already told you about this robot, which was first presented at the Consumer Electronics Show, CES 2024 in Las Vegas. 4Runner, or predecessor, is a creation of the Kepler Exploration Robot Company, positioned right away as a direct competitor to Tesla's Optimus. However, the Chinese 4Runner will cost approximately $30,000, one and a half times more than Elon Musk's robot. Externally, the 4Runner looks predictable, with an average height of 178 centimeters, an average weight of 85 kilograms, two legs, two arms, and a minimalist head consisting of black plastic. The main feature of the model is the patented satellite roller screws of the arm and leg drives. They provide a pull of 8,000 newtons to the elbow, knee, and ankle joints of the machine. The company claims that these drives outperform traditional motors in control accuracy, power, and response speed, expertly performing complex tasks. Rotary drives are responsible for the movements of the shoulder joints and waist. The Forerunner perceives the world through a set of sensors built into its head. This includes a wide-angle binocular camera, four microphones for sound recording, including over long distances, an accelerometer, and a coarse vertical sensor. Kepler's robot can hear with the help of an array of four long-range microphones and can also speak to people, as it has a voice module and stereo speakers. Production is expected to start in the third quarter of 2024. Several versions of the robot will be available for sale, intended for use in manufacturing, object inspection, outdoor work, and hazardous conditions. The robot is also positioned as a tool for research and education in robotics. Humanoid robots are not the only industry where China has challenged American entrepreneurs. Chinese scientists are also making strides in the field of neurotechnology, giving Elon Musk a run for his money. They have developed and implanted a unique wireless brain-computer interface implant into a person's head, as reported by the South China Morning Post. This is not just a chip, it's a whole revolution in the way data is exchanged between the brain and an external device. The neuro interface, named Neural Electronic Opportunity (NEO), has been in development by Chinese scientists for a full decade, culminating in success. The first recipient of NEO was a man with limb paralysis, who received the chip on October 24, 2023. This neuro implant restored the man's ability to control his hands, enabling him to move them again, grip and release objects. However, he needs to wear special prostheses connected to the neuro interface to achieve this. The Chinese implant is often compared to Elon Musk's Neuralink, but it has its own twist. It is implanted not in the neural tissue, but in the epidural space of the skull, making the procedure less invasive and safer for patients. 
Interestingly, the chip is about the size of two coins and does not require built-in batteries. It is powered remotely through a wireless near-field network and a high-frequency antenna. So even in this industry, the Chinese researchers have proven to be not exactly ahead, but certainly not far behind entrepreneurs of such a level as Elon Musk. The Chinese technological giant and telecommunications monster China Mobile has made a huge leap into the future of communication by successfully launching a satellite into orbit to test 6G technology. Unlike 5G, which has already begun to change the landscape of mobile communication with its ultra-fast data transmission and almost instantaneous response, 6G promises to blow these indicators to unimaginable heights. By using higher frequencies, 6G will enable the downloading of entire libraries of information in seconds, providing unprecedented speed and bandwidth. The China Mobile Launch Satellite for Testing 6G Technology is part of an ambitious program to develop the next generation of mobile communication. This satellite, orbiting in low Earth orbit, demonstrates a fundamentally new approach to creating a global communication network. Equipped with advanced technologies, it tests a distributed autonomous architecture for 6G, promising low latency and high-speed data transmission that significantly surpasses the capabilities of current 5G networks. The satellite is equipped with Chinese software and hardware, allowing for software updates directly in orbit, flexible configuration of base network functions, and automated management. These innovations aim to improve the efficiency and reliability of network operation in space conditions. The Chinese startup Orion Space, founded in 2020, successfully launched a massive solid fuel rocket from a maritime platform off the coast of Hainan Island, setting a record for the payload capacity of Chinese commercial rockets. The Gravity One rocket lifted off from the mobile sea platform Daifu 15002 in the Yellow Sea on January 11th. Shortly after liftoff, the company announced the successful delivery of all payloads to their target orbits. The U.S. Space Force's space control system confirmed the successful deployment of three Yunyao-1 satellites into orbits ranging from 478 to 499 kilometers with an inclination of 49.99 degrees. The satellites belong to the company Yunyao Yuhang, which is establishing a constellation for global weather forecasting and earthquake monitoring. The Gravity One rocket can accommodate launches of up to 30 satellites weighing 100 kilograms each. The rocket is currently the largest in terms of payload capacity in the industry. It is also the first rocket to successfully debut a sea launch and one of the few to achieve orbit on its first attempt. Many commercial firms have opted to initially develop light solid-fueled rockets before transitioning to reusable liquid-fueled rockets. Orion Space plans to launch its first liquid-fueled rocket in 2025. The Gravity 2, standing at 60 meters tall, will feature a core stage and solid rocket boosters. The rocket's first stage will be powered by nine Yuan Li-85 gas generator kerosene engines, each with a thrust of 100 tons. Will the Forerunner robot be able to learn and think by 2027? Share your opinion in the comments. We hope you find something new and interesting in this video. If so, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Caro Show channel. Also check out our previous videos. Goodbye.